Hello everyone, this is Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast, and this is my review of Scabbard Samurai, a Japanese comedy drama from 2010 that was directed by Hitoshi Matsumoto, a comedian and filmmaker. Now, I've previously reviewed this director's other feature-length movies on this channel, uh, Big Man Japan, Symbol, and R100, all of which are worth watching. Now, Scabbard Samurai is the last I need to cover, so here we go. In a forest in feudal Japan, a man with a price on his head and his little daughter are on the run. He is Kanjuro Nomi, a samurai who wears an empty scabbard because he has lost his sword, and with it his honor. Surviving several assassination attempts by bounty hunters, he is captured by a rival clan and sentenced to the 30 days. This practice has arisen because the little crown prince has not laughed since his mother died in the epidemic that also carried off Nomi's wife. Condemned criminals are allowed 30 days to win their freedom if they can amuse the boy. If not, they are executed, which for a samurai like Nomi is by seppuku. Now this film opens with our old man samurai running for his life in the forest with his daughter, and it explicitly shows his empty scabbard. His daughter trails very far behind him when they're running, making it seem like he doesn't really care that much for her safety. I mean, you'd think that any normal father would be like holding his daughter's hand, you know, helping her keep up with him. But, uh, you know, <clears throat> there's little elements like that in this. In any case, after he freaks out on a crossing bridge and he, he uh, there's a few near misses with death, he's captured. And then after that point, maybe like 15, 20 minutes in, the film focuses on his many attempts at uh, making the crown prince laugh. And it also focuses a lot on the preparation he goes through each and every day to prepare for his daily joke or gag. And that's the core of the movie. It's actually quite good. Now, much of the humor is related to laughing at this guy's terrible and failed attempts at making the kid laugh. But some of his gags are genuinely funny later on. He, kinda, he gets better at it. And I really like the, what I would call the failed decapitation scene involving his daughter. I thought that was, uh, that was quite funny, it made me laugh uh, with the character instead of at him. And because the script focuses on both the preparation and the execution of the jokes, it allows for a bit of character development uh, to uh, uh, kind of sh be showcased, as well as overt acts of comedy. Now, at first you may think that this is kind of wafer-thin fluff near the beginning of the movie, but as it progresses, it becomes kind of surprisingly heartwarming, you know? It has the same feel as this director's other movies, but it's more realistic in many aspects. So even if you've seen and disliked maybe a few of his more wilder movies, uh, particularly Symbol, which can get really crazy, you may actually enjoy Scabbard Samurai. It's a different beast, as they say. One other highlight is the acting. Now, I'm unfamiliar with the lead actor, Takaki Nomi, who has only appeared in a few movies, but he gives an effectively quirky performance. Jun Kunimura has a supporting role and is good, is good as usual, despite the fact that I don't think he speaks at all throughout the entire film, but he's, you know, he's quite good. And the assassins are funny, too, one of whom is played by Ryo, who appeared in the Shinya Tsukamoto film Gemini. However, the showstopper here is Sei Kumara, who plays the samurai's little daughter, and she is phenomenal in this. Great child performance. And I would go so far as to say that her acting brings everything together and gives you that like heartwarming undertone that gives the film a little bit of additional depth. She's the most important actor in the film, and she knocks it out of the park. So, yes, yeah, Scabbard Samurai is a nice little film by an interesting director. I strongly recommend this. It's just good quality. You know, it's funny, and it's heartwarming. So, currently available on YouTube with subtitles, and it's in good visual quality as well, so check it out. And as always, folks, I'll see you next time.